Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Crib Apple Tales. Today we're making a shadow box to go along with my book, A Deer Tale. I have a very special guest to help me with explain this craft, Sage the Savage. She has her own YouTube gaming channel if you like to, to check that out. Today's craft you will need a 9x9 nine nine shadow box, which we bought at the Dollar Tree. You need all of these items! All of these items <laughs> on the table. <laughs> Each, most of these we have gotten from Dollar Tree and they're very easy to find. The only thing that we did not buy at the Dollar Tree would be the printout from the website. And that is the backdrop for our shadow box. Right now we're just showing a couple of things. So first you need to rip off the bottom chomp thing. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Just throw it out. <laughs> okay, just make sure it's very flat. There's a little piece of foam that's holding the chomp word up. Okay, there you go. Now swap it out with the deer tail printout you can find at Miss Peggy Recchia's website. Crabappletails.com. We're gonna cut it out now. If you buy a nine inch shadow box, this should fit all exactly. All we need to set this in the box is a glue stick. So and you don't have out. to glue it very hard because the other things will be piled on top of it. Right. Now I have to get it out again. <laughs> Here there. we go. It's easy just to put the glue stick on the back of the box, not on the paper. So much easier. Okay, done. Now let's move on to the next thing. We're going to take this little piece of foam that we cut from that round piece. It's about a quarter of it, but it's too wide for the shadow box, so we actually cut it in half. And you just need a scissors. It doesn't have to be anything too straight because it's going to get covered. I would recommend using big scissors because as you can see I was using smaller scissors and that was a little hard. That's true. It was a little hard for you. But any little piece of foam that you have. Or just something to hold up some of the snow. Just a tiny bit left. Now we're going to want to glue that onto the paper. Put the bumpy side down. We used a hot glue gun for this. It's actually a low temperature melt glue gun so that you don't have to worry about burning your hands or melting the, the foam. little glue on the side in the corner and again it doesn't have to be hard because the snow is going to go on top of it and the tree Okay. 
Now we are going to get the snow and the beads out. The snow is just a rectangle piece of quilt batting. Or cotton. Or cotton. Very true. And shove it in there and make it look like snow. It's not supposed to look square or rectangular. It's just supposed to look like a pile of snow. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course. We use scissors to shove it in so we can get in all the cracks and creaks. Now you follow up with some hot glue under the snow and stick it down. It might not work for a little bit, so just try your best. Just shove it in there! And I think that looks pretty good. Just a tiny bit more glue. Now you might see that string of beads laying on the paper. We made that with 30 inches of floral wire and some pony beads, which we got at the dollar store. So you may not be able to see, but we put the beads through the string and then stopped where we wanted to. Then we took the top part of the string, wrapped it around, and shoved it through the bottom part of the bead so it would be knotted on. It was super fun and relaxing for me. I could do it super well, I could do it very quickly, and it's not really hard to do. Then we took one of these bottle brush trees, the taller one actually, that we bought at the dollar store. And you take the base off because the base is too wide for the, the shadow box. And throw that away. Now the tree will fit exactly in the shadow box. And we cut the back of the tree off because it was sticking out also. We made it nice and flat in the back so we had something to glue. Okay, throw some hot glue on the back. Push it in there. Make sure it's sitting on top of the green foam piece you put in before. Just a little bit more glue. Perfect. Now we have two deer here. One we bought at the dollar. We both bought them both at the dollar store, except this one was a little bit too glittery. So I took some nail polish remover and a straight edge, and I scraped the glitter off, and then I spray painted him gold. We think it looks so much better because the gold makes it give it gives it a more fancy and elegant look, and the glitter was just gonna peel off, and it might wreck your carpet or living room. So true. And a little glue holds him in. Now we're going to do the ribbon wrapping it all around. And the beads, of course. So if you remember in the book, Dave the deer got his antlers stuck in the Christmas tree lights. And then he pulled away, he pulled all the lights off the tree. And this is the scene that we're we're reenacting here. Just put all the beads on the tree 
until you are satisfied. You can wrap them around that deer's antlers to make it look like the book, or you could just drop it on the tree if you don't actually want it. But for this craft, we put on the antlers. Nice. Very nice. Okay, now to dress up the box, we're going to wrap some ribbon around the outside of the box because we didn't paint it and it's just wood and we wanted it to be a little bit fancier. So just with your hot glue, wrap it around and make sure it's glued on tight so it does not um, like flail around everywhere and you don't want any bumps so make sure it's nice and flat. If you don't have hot glue, you can always use glue dots. Those work too, really nicely. We just happen to have the hot glue in hand. And it was all plugged in and ready to go. You can also use white glue, but that takes a while to dry. We don't like waiting for glue to dry. We think hot glue is the best option because it dries really quickly and if you get one of the ones that's not as hot, it's really perfect with foam and other materials. You don't need the ribbon but it gives it a nice Christmassy look and I think it's perfect for this shadow box. We started at the bottom so that you don't see where the, where the beginning and end of the ribbon is. Just glue it to the same side of the ribbon together. Okay, now we made a bow for the top and what we did was we cut three different lengths of ribbon and made a loop and then I glued one on top of another, on top of another, on top of another and made the bow. And that will just stick flat on the top. Make sure it's center. Um, there was a clip on the back of the shadow box in the middle. Now to make it an extra little detail, we just added this little holly or bell a from um, a bell set. We just ripped it off. Which we also bought at Dollar Tree. It has a hint of gold. So it matches the deer, and the red matches perfectly, so we think this bow was really amazing. This shadow box is so elegant, and we think we're, we might hang it up every Christmas. I think so. Definitely going to keep it. There you have it. Please check the like button if you've enjoyed this craft, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You can find more fun activities, crafts, and stories read aloud at the website crabappletales.com. Until our next video, happy crafting! Bye! Bye!